Now we're going to look at how you can import SketchUp uh, 3D files into your Easy Design software locally. Uh, I'm on the 3D Warehouse website, which is one of the biggest libraries of free SketchUp files. And basically what you do is you search for the content that you would like to add into Easy Design. So let's just pretend that I want a three seat sofa. Let's see what we can find. Search. And here comes a number of different type of sofas. And oh, this is the one I would like. So I'm going to click on download SketchUp file. And it's going to download onto my computer. Once the file is downloaded to your computer, you make sure you go over to the final tab, the last tab here, My Imports. You press the green plus sign. And then on your computer, from your download file section, you select the file, click Open. And I'm going to call this Three Seat Sofa and click OK. And in a matter of seconds, it's going to create a thumbnail here of that sofa and we can drag it out into easy design let's go into orbit view position it wherever i want like this and we'll take a look in 3d there you go perfect what's even or not even cooler but what's also cool is you can let's make it into 2d view like this if you select it you can actually scale the object. So if I want to make it bigger, I can do that very simply. And this feature you can uh, actually use on all standard objects in Easy Design. So if you have standard chairs or things like that, let's go into furniture and let's find another seating. Let's do a bench. We can drag out a bench and we can scale it. Let's go into orbit so you can see that in this view as well. Then we can scale it, boom, boom, like this and like that. And that's a brand new feature. We've never had that in Easy Design before. All right, so uh, let's go back to the SketchUp files. Um, you can actually create your own folder structure here. But now I don't have any folders because I've just downloaded them and they end up in the main but you can click this blue icon and I have all my objects here and you can actually create your own folder. Test. And then I can drag in objects into the test folder and then you create a folder structure that you have here, which will make it more organized. All right. Thank you very much.